Hello and welcome to another update video about uh, Polkadot. Polkadot is also coming back into its support area. It did reset this wave two now. Um, we had also here, like on many other charts, a shallow wave two and a deep wave two. I didn't already mention it in the last few days in many videos when we have a deep wave two and a shallow one, or let's say a deep support area and a shallow one, it's probably the better idea to, or yeah, it's probably the better idea to focus more on the deeper one because if you try to trade a shallow correction only and you set your stop loss to tight, you might get sort of chopped up. Um, so, and also in terms of scaling in, for example, into support areas, it can make more sense in that scenario to um, focus on the deeper support area. And that's where we are now in the deeper support area. I don't particularly like how strong it's coming down here. Um, it now has basically two more chances to turn around. Um, but will then risk invalidation of the entire process or an entire setup if it breaks below $5.15, if it breaks below the 10th of March low. Ideally, it will not go below 546. This is the overall level against which I would focus on higher. Below that level, it will get very, very strange, this chart. Yeah? So looks a bit like and continues to look a bit like this sort of ascending no descending broadening wedge yeah um but it really is sort of in the middle of it I'm not sure how relevant that still is actually i think it morphed probably more into a channel if you look at this probably morphed a little bit more into a trend channel instead of a descending broadening wedge which is a bit more reassuring because then it sort of is a bit limited by the descending trend line here together with the golden ratio the 61.8 fib retracement and um, yeah i mean i'm looking at this currently as a wave two low um, based on the latest price action we had something like this overshooting b wave and now a c wave down we are in support b wave here reacted um let's see yeah basically reacted i could probably add another retracement level here uh Yeah, but it sort of landed in the middle between the 1.272 and the 100% retracement. So it is it is the zone for an overshooting B wave. It certainly didn't go too high. So that would explain why we're coming down quite sharply then in a C wave. We took out the previous wave A low. And yeah, next support is 569 and 546. Ideally here it's turning around somewhere. If it drops below 546, yes, it can still find support at 515, ideally above it, but then it will get very unreliable. Now a quick wick below 546 would not be a problem, but if it breaks and sustains below 546, we may need to get ready for new bear market lows. Yeah, just saying, but for now, you know, we're, all we're doing is coming deep in support, support area is holding at the moment and that's fine. So um, yeah, it's good to see a bit of price action finally getting out of those ranges here, Bitcoin at least, yeah. I mean, a lot of altcoins are still in their wave twos, at least Bitcoin is moving, Ethereum is moving a bit. So ideally we're getting um, towards the end of this here soon. Right, that's my update about Polkadot. Um, may maybe one more mention, one more thing to mention here. So a good indication that this wave two is finished would be a break above the descending price channel's upper boundary line. So far we're obviously following the channel. So as long as we're in the channel, we have to focus further on the downside. And then ideally if we see a reaction somewhere here, then that's when we need to start watching. And if we break above the corrective price channel, that is when we have a good confirmation that the third wave rally has started. All right, that's my update about Polkadot. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.